Assalamu alaikum dear students I am your English teacher for class 5 open your books page number 18 exercise B change the underlined words to their opposites and rewrite the sentences the first one has been done for you write opposites of these words and make sentences what are opposites opposites are words pairs that are related but totally different in meaning. For example, Hamelin is a big town. In this sentence, underlined word is big. So opposites of big is small. Answer is Hamelin is a small town. The Pied Piper was short and fat. Here is a mistake. Correct it. Underlined word short. Opposite of short is tall and opposite of fat is thin. Answer is the Pied Piper was tall and thin. Number three, the Pied Piper played a bitter tune. Opposite of bitter is sweet. Answer is the Pied Piper played a sweet tune. Number four, the people were sad. Opposite of sad is happy. So answer is the people were happy. Promises must be broken. Opposites of broken is kept. So answer is promises must be kept. Number six, he was a foolish man. Opposites of foolish is wise. So answer is he was a wise man. Exercise C. We can form some opposites by simply adding an or n to the word. We make opposites by adding an and m. When we add an or m in front of some words to make opposites, these are also called prefix. For example, patient is a word. When we add m, so it becomes impatient. Patient, which is opposites of patient. Lucky, lucky is a word when we add un in front of lucky, so it becomes unlucky and it's a opposite of lucky. Form the opposites of number one, happy, unhappy, two, undo, tie, untie. Possible, impossible, fair, unfair, polite, impolite, safe, unsafe, just, unjust, just, unjust. Exercise D. Pick out five verbs from the story which end in ing. What are verbs? Verbs shows an action. Read chapter carefully and pick five action words which end in ing. Discussing, playing, rustling, bustling, taking. You can find some other words from this chapter by yourself. Exercise A. Underline the personal pronouns in the following sentences. What are personal pronouns? Personal pronouns are noun which are used in place of name of a person, for a place, a thing or an animal. This is a chart of personal pronouns. These are simple pronouns and these are possessive pronouns. There are three different pronouns. First person I and we. Second person you and third person he she it they and any name first person is used for speaker second is used for listener and third person is used for person who is not present we used he for singular male third person she for singular female third person and it 
for singular animal or non living thing third person we use you for singular second person i for singular first person they for plural third person and we for plural first person let's start he is playing with his friends in the park in this sentence he and his are personal pronouns number 2 she is walking with her mother she and her are personal pronouns number 3 you should tell him to do his homework every day you him and his are personal pronouns number 4 it is her dog she must take care of him in this sentence her she and him are personal pronouns number 5 tell him not to disturb us as we are working on our project him us we and our are personal pronouns exercise b rewrite the following sentences using possessive pronouns what are possessive pronouns possessive pronouns are pronoun which shows ownership number 1 i own this car this car is dash i own this car this car is mine these dresses belong to me these dresses are dash these dresses belong to me these dresses are mine sara bought a house it is dash sara bought a house it is her house the pigeon belongs to the farmer the pigeon is dash the pigeon belongs to the farmer the pigeon is his the football belongs to them the football is dash the football belongs to them the football is theirs exercise c fill the blanks with suitable demonstrative pronouns what are demonstrative pronouns demonstrative pronouns are used to point at the nouns pronouns like this these that and those are demonstrative pronouns this is a chart of demonstrative pronouns there are four demonstrative pronouns this that these those something is close to you and it's singular so we use this something is far from you and it's singular so we use that this is near so we use this this is far so we use that something is close to you and it's pl plural so we use these something is far from you and is plural so we use those this is near so we use these this is far so we use those number 1 dash is my chocolate ice cream this is my chocolate ice cream dash are your letters which have arrived by the post today these are your letters which have arrived by the post today dash are my classmates in the playground those are my classmate in the playground dash is your tiffin box this is your tiffin box is dash your house question mark is this your house question mark complete all exercises in your book dear students this is the end of today's lecture complete your homework and submit it on coming tuesday thank you